of things, this is Holy Night Podcast, I'm your host Austin, my guest of this episode is Howard Blank, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. It's an honor to have you on the show, I'm a big fan of Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Thank you. So, um, I'm going to start with our whole new segment first and then get right into the questions. Rob Zombie Trilogy Steelbook Blu-ray arrived September 8th. I cannot wait for that. Um, actor Danny Hicks passed away at his home in California at the age of 68. Danny Hicks was most known for playing Jake in Evil Dead 2 in the 1987 film and Bill in Intruder in the 1989 film, which I'm sad to hear that. Indie Thrill, Nothing But the Blood, hits VOD and Blu-ray August 4th. Netflix has renewed its crime drama series Ozark for a fourth and final season according to Deadline. The expanded season will feature 14 episodes split into 7 episode parts. I just got into that and my neighbor loves that show and I haven't gotten into it yet. And plus, I don't have Netflix, so it all works out. <laughs> Number 5. Halloween Kills has officially been bumped to October 15, 2021. Halloween Ends will now be released on October 14, 2022. And finally, Tidewater Horror Convention in Norfolk, Virginia has been pushed back to the pandemic. The new dates are September 10th, 11th, and 12th. Of 2021. Now, THC, which is named Taiwan Hall Convention in Novik Virginia, we are partnering with that convention. We will be there next year at that time. Hopefully, this pandemic is over by then, and hopefully, I'll be able to go because I'm dying to go there. This would be my first Hall convention ever, and this is my only chance to go because. Long, long time ago, there was a horror convention in my hometown of Virginia Beach, and I didn't know about it until 10 years there, and I missed it. So, this is my only chance to go to it, so I can't screw this moment up. <laughs> so, I gotta go to it. Moving on, let's get right to the questions. Number one, what's your favorite horror movie? <laughs> Killer Clowns from Outer Space, for sure. And yeah, I just love the campiness of it. I, I thought it was very creative. And uh, I really like the, uh, the the fellow actors, the the filmmakers, the storyline, the whole thing. It was it's just a fun, it's a fun campy movie. And, um, you know, I, I had no idea that so many people had such a fear of clowns. Because when I did some of these horror conventions... Uh, people would just like not come come near us, and um, I approached a few of them. I said, "What's what's up? With, why do you look so scared? Oh, you're one of those clowns." I'm like, "Yeah, I just played a killer clowns in the movie. It's not, I'm not a clown now." <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I, I really like uh, killer clowns. Um, I've always wondered. Now, before I get to this other question, it took me like. A couple of times to figure the movie out. And Kill Crimes and Mass Space, I thought it was going to be a stupid movie at first. And it took me probably around my 10th try to find out what the storyline was. And then, boom, I finally found the, the answer to the whole saga and stuff. So, I mean, now the thing that I like the most about Kill Crimes and Mass Space is the clowns are funny as hell. And number two, the theme song gets stuck in your head. I love the theme song, which is the next question. Who came up with the opening theme song for the movie Kill Crimes from Outer Space? I believe that was the Dickies. I think the Dickies actually wrote the song for the movie. And I think, uh, if, I'm, if I'm correct, um, or, or John Masari might have... Uh, on that too. I'm not. I'm not real sure, but I just know the Dickies performed it, and uh, it might have been the two of them. I'm not sure. Okay. Um, Johnny McCall is our co-host. Jeff, 
Now, Jeff, do you have any questions for uh, our guest? Uh, uh, the first question I have, um, it's something I was curious about, is like, how the hell was it getting through those outfits? <laughs> that was a nightmare, actually. Um, they would, you know, about a half an hour before, you know, we were to do our scenes, they would have us go to wardrobe and makeup and... And uh, I'm already tall and lanky, and I already have big feet. My feet are size 13, but the clown shoes were size 26, and they would uh, put you in these. You know, the costume wasn't too bad, uh, but the mask. The mask was a latex mask with a seam in the back. And what they would do is they would take airplane glue and glue it shut. So basically, once you were in costume, you were you were glued shut into this uh, latex mask that was about, I'd say, an inch thick of latex, and it had motors inside with gears. And um, when the, you know they would have a, a somebody operating those robotics, and uh, it would open the eyes and the mouth and things like that. And so while you know, while I was doing a scene, I, I particularly remember the uh, the popcorn, the uh, elevator uh, with the popcorn gun coming out of the elevator, and I was high as a kite on airplane glue, and uh, <laughs> they said, action, and I'm like, the door opened, and I jump out with the size 23 uh, clown shoes, and there was a ditch, like, outside of the elevator, and I almost broke my leg, and uh, and and then the director said, "Okay, listen, I want you to do this like Rambo, you know? Come on out, work really aggressively, and, and whip that gun around." And so I, I did that, and, and I'm like, I'm high as a kite. The motors in my eyes, above my eyes, are like, Wee! Wee! and and I come out that that elevator and did the Rambo scene. And uh, I, it was a miracle that I got through it without getting hurt. And, and then in the movie, it came out pretty good. So that, was the, that was the big drawback, was being uh, the airplane glue. It was just too much, too much for me to handle. That is awesome. And then I have another question for you, too, because um, a few months ago, like, they were talking about the possibility of a killer clown's, like, I want to know if it's going to be a remake or a sequel or anything. Have you heard anything about that? Do you know if there's any steam that little rumor well, I've been hearing about this for years, and I know that um, um, Kramer um, wrote a script, and I believe it was supposed to take place in New Orleans. And I think when uh, when they tried to to get into making that, um, I think MGM wanted too much licensing money or whatever, even though these guys created it. Which just really infuriates me because I think it's the a, a great, the great concept and product, and they should have more episodes. And I would love to be in New Orleans coming up from the sewer, you know, and, and things like that. That would be just so fun to do. And uh, it just got stalemated and hung up. And to this day, I, I I think they're trying to do some sort of a series, but uh, I have no idea where they're at with it. I know that. I'm enthusiastic, and I think uh, I think it would be a great, you know, thing. Whatever they created, if they could get the green light. Grant yeah. Grant Kramer was the one who wrote the script. Yeah, whatever they do, if they do, I really hope they get you back in it because you actually you did a great job, man. Like I think you probably heard a lot, but you did an awesome job. And like you said, you know, it was hell, especially with those masks and everything else. So if they do wind up doing some sort of a remake or series, I'm hoping they give you that call. Oh, me too. And you know, I can still carry the weight. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm still pretty physical, so I can handle the the workout. Um, the only thing I would probably do is ask them. I'll try to find a different glue we can use, or a different way of uh, maybe Velcro, uh, some some way of sealing that mask, the back side of it. And uh, yeah, I, I, you know, the the possibilities are, are endless with this with this theme and and the, the characters. I mean, they could go. I was thinking that killer clowns could go all over the place and do um, like localized um, short short clips or films, like in in different places around the country. Uh, it would be so cool, you know, and work with different uh, different like universities or whatever their film programs and 
and bang out a scene and uh, put it up on the internet. It would be fun. That actually does sound pretty cool. That's actually a good idea. Better write that down just in case they go with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know the way the way this all came about, and this is this is this is something for people to think about. Is I was I saw a call in Santa Cruz, California, where I was where I grew up, where I was uh, going to college, or I went to college and high school and all that. And I saw a call for extras to show up to to be in a film called Killer Clowns from Outer Space. And they were looking for, uh, basically, uh, folk in the crowd, right? And uh, and then they, I guess they saw that I was, you know, I was, a, I was a basketball player and I had an art car, which is really weird. I had this crazy car called Oh My God, which was kind of clown-like. And it, it caught the director's attention and the Charlie... Charlie killed his attention, and uh, next thing you know, they were asking me uh, if I would be willing to try to do some clown work, and I said, of course, sure, and then I uh, did, did a little bit of work with them, like a, 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 a group scene with a lot of clowns, and I heard the director say, hey, uh, who is that clown? And uh, the assistant looks up, and, oh, that's uh, Howard Blaine. He said, ask him to stay after so after the shoot that day, I stayed after, and, and I met with uh, um, the killers, and they had me do a few exercises like, okay, pretend you're drunk and walk across the room, and I'm in costume. And I did that, and they, okay, go over there and kill that guy. And I'm like, okay, and I did that. And then, uh, and then they just said, are you busy for the next three weeks? And I said, no. And he goes, you want to play, uh, just play clowns? And I said, sure. And that was it, and it was actually, that was my job for like three weeks, was just showing up and working on Killer Clowns from Outer Space, which was, you know, really fun to do it at the time, and this is a lesson for people that, you know, show up and for an extra in any kind of a movie, you just don't know what's going to happen, like, you don't know if you're going to be, uh, you know, if you're going to get a speaking part, or if you're going to get... You know, like in my case, I, and I was really lucky. And then 25 years later, this is what really floors me. I get a call from this guy um, who says, uh, are, you, are you Howard Blank? I said, yeah. And he goes, well, I want to be your agent. And I just said, for what? And he says, you were in Killer Clowns, weren't you? And I'm like, yeah. And he says, well, we want you to go to these conventions and sign your name. I said, I'll give you a break. Nobody wants my autograph. And he's like, we've already been asked for it. I'm like, What? <laughs> and then the next thing you know, I'm going to these horror conventions, and I, and I've done like four of them now. I've done Orlando and and uh, outside of Philadelphia and uh, LA, and uh, it's just tremendous fun. And I just love the horror genre and the fact that people that that are into the horror thing are really quite creative. They're all really nice people, and uh, everybody wants to have fun. You know, it's it's a it's a real, it's like a circus sort of thing, and uh, it's just pretty cool. I totally agree with that. Um, I, I told this one of our other guests a few weeks ago. And, um, I go to this show every year called Texas Fire Every Weekend. It's huge, and um, if you ever get a chance to make it down there, man, like it's like a huge family out there. It's always fun. We all have a great time. And um, I actually saw people like dressed as a few of the clowns last year, and I was like, this is like, it's just amazing to see. It's amazing to see that you know the horror community how much it's grown and just like it's really like a big family now and it's amazing man I mean, you are a part of that you know your contributions to the horror genre with that movie and you know it's a cult classic and it's just it's amazing we all love it man and like again thank you for doing what you do it's because of you guys that we're fans you know it's 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 just awesome well, right now, well, I'm, I'm, I'm really glad to be a part of it, and I, I hope that I get another shot with a, a, a remake or a sequel or a series or whatever they can come up with. But I'm also, I'd be open to doing other horror, you know, horror characters, that, especially, you know, due to this COVID-19 thing, man, I haven't had a haircut. I look like, I look like one of these clowns, man. I look, I, I don't look like a clown from outer space, but I'm looking like a clown. Uh, I was like, I look like a, a older man right now with my beard, so I understand. <laughs> so they were supposed to have us go to the horror convention in Chicago in August, 
but it got canceled till next year. So I think I am booked to go to the the horror convention in Chicago next in 2021. Oh That's wow! Awesome. Yeah, and uh, I don't know if we're booked for any other one, but you know, we did Horror Hound, we did the we did the one in LA. I can't remember what that was called, and 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 uh, Indiana, Indianapolis, and uh, the one outside of Philadelphia. Um, any last words, Jeff? Uh, no, I'm, I'm pretty good. Um, I just, again, I want to say thank you. Because, like I said, man, it's because of you guys that we're such fans, so. Can't say it enough, just thank you, and hopefully we see you in there. I would love to see you back under the clowns and kicking ass. I can't wait. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll be the first one to sign up. Before we end this uh, episode, I just want to give a big shout out and the big news of this big guest that's coming on the show very soon. We have the pleasure and honor to have Clint Howard on the show. He is the brother of Brian Howard. So I'm very happy to announce that Clint Howard will be on the show on August 1st. He'll be on the show. We'll be talking about everything home, and we'll be talking about his movie, The Ice Cream Man, and possibly the when he was on The Water Boy, <laughs> and many other movies he was in. I cannot wait to have him on the show. He's huge. Please check us out on everything on social media. Our episodes are posted on our YouTube page, which is currently under construction, because if you want to watch the episode from Horror Night Podcast, just check out our old episodes until you see the new episodes. And by the way, go check Horror Fiend. Our episodes are on there also. Go check that, out, that channel out. And please join our Facebook group called Horror Night Podcast. We get exclusive episodes from the show in the group. Um, and the fourth be with you all. And I cannot wait for the next episode and the next lap.